Liam here and welcome back to LSJTV. As you guys may have guessed, we have just finished up at Audi. Seems to be quite a regular occurrence, but I've not actually done it for a long time. So drop it a like if you are a student and you love Audi. Also met a couple of guys in Audi who are new subscribers, so welcome if you are watching this video. I appreciate you tuning in. So, with that said guys, I'm on my way back from the gym. Shot car I know. Let's get today's video started. So who watched the Super Bowl last night? I had two pound on the Patriots to win by seven to 12 points. And there the Eagles go and win by seven to 12 points. I thought it was gonna be one of those where the Eagles would be ahead at half time like last year. Uh, not the Eagles, but whoever was playing against the Patriots ahead at half time and they would come back and it would be close. But that was that and that's enough about me wasting my money. Did anyone else see that KSI Joe Weller thing as well? I mean, don't really know how to explain it. How, how would you explain it best? That they, that they, had, they had a fight for six rounds max. KSI came out, didn't, Joe Weller didn't throw a punch, and the whole thing was a bit of a shambles really. KSI bossed it to be fair, but I mean, did anyone watch that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So, as many of you will know, I am a big fan, a big advocate of muscle food. Muscle food essentially is a company that sells really good, really well priced, good quality meat. And as you can see from the freezer at this point in time, we, are stacked full of muscle food. The only thing with that is, is that it's all frozen, all in the freezer, stacked away, out of sight, and I forget to get out tonight's dinner. So I'm gonna have to have a snack. Luckily, I have a protein bar, which actually came in the muscle food bundle. They do a, a hell, a loads of bundles, and this came as like a freebie in the one that we just got. So I'm gonna snack on this while this defrosts and then have that in a couple of hours time. Okay, so here is the bar. It is Fulfill Bar in the white chocolate and cookie dough flavor. So I've waited to actually try this on camera. Been waiting for a good, probably what, a week or so? To probably a little bit more than that. And there's a 20 grams of protein, nine vitamins it says, and it's low sugar. So uh, it seems like a pretty small bar, so excited to see how it tastes. Oh, okay. Interesting. Smell that. Right, so white chocolate and cookie dough. Fulfill bar, official taste test. Oh, it's chewy. That's good. I like that. Try it. Nice uh huh. So this is is Charlotte's unbiased opinion on the bar. Go. Well, I like it. I would give this a solid 7 out of 10. Seven, I'd give this an 8 out of 10. I really like white chocolate though, so I'm a little bit sort of leaning towards it because I love white chocolate and cookie dough. And it's a white chocolate and cookie dough bar. Hey Charlotte, I'm going to change my review of that bar. A solid 9. That was really nice. Leaves a really good aftertaste. Right, so as you guys will see by the title, there's something that I kind of not want to get off my chest. I just want to kind of, I just, I just need to like rant about it purely because I don't let many things get under my skin with sort of social media and all the things that people say and things that people do. But this bothered me a little bit, and not for the reason that you're gonna think. On the video of my 100kg bench press, I had a comment that says, you should use a much more beneficial grip, wide grip, you would get much more benefit from it. 
and as if to say that I was using improper form because I have a relatively narrow bench press grip. Now the reason I have a relatively narrow grip is because it hurts my shoulders if I go too wide, I come down, I'm actually capable of getting more of a range of movement if I come down with my shoulders, uh, with my hands, sorry, narrow. As you guys can see here, I can fully retract. I'll show you from the side view. If my hands are here, I can fully retract. Whereas if my hands are here, I can get to here. You guys see the difference? See the difference there? Here, here. So as you guys can see, I know in myself, in my own body, that that makes a big difference. And what do you have to do to get the most muscle gains? Have the biggest range of motion. And so, let's talk a little bit sciencey for a second here, right? The wider your grip is on a bench press, the more you are using your chest and the less you're using your triceps, dominantly, right? Whereas if you have a slightly closer grip, you are using a much smaller muscle group, i.e. the triceps, more so than if you are using a wider grip. So I did a poll on my Instagram after this comment, I got thinking, I was like, right, okay, let's do a little social media test. Let's see what the grand, on, on, the, grand, on the grand scheme of things, what people think. What's harder, wider grip, sort of, you know, a normal wide grip or a general narrow grip. I did this poll on Instagram and I have just over 2,000 followers on Instagram. Of that, I probably get a few hundred views on my story. And then of that, I get a very small percentage of people who actually vote in the poll. So I managed to get 50 people to vote in this poll. I gave it 24 hours until I took a screenshot. And 50, of 50 people, 38% of people said that it was harder to do a wide grip bench. That's 19 people out of 50 that think it is more difficult to do a wide grip bench than a close grip bench. Now, the reason, I mean, the whole initiation of this poll and everything was because of that comment, and it, but I wanted to make it a social media test to see the kind of information that is out there because the reality of the, of the situation is, guys, a narrow grip bench press is harder than a wide grip bench press. It just is. You've gone from using your chest predominantly, which is one of the largest muscle groups in your entire body, to using your triceps, one of like the second smallest muscle group in your entire body. And so, therefore, if you have a narrow grip bench, it is harder than a wide grip bench. Science, right? That's the thing that sort of bugged me and I wanted to see how much false information was out there. And I'm sorry if you voted for a wide grip bench and you're, and you're watching this video, but this is just the reality here, guys. This is maybe, of course, there's going to be individual cases that find narrow grip easier than a wide grip. Like, a little bit like myself. Mine is relatively narrow because of my shoulder, but I'm very, very doubtful that 38% of people are in the exact same boat as me as the reasons why they use a narrower grip. What I want to get across to you guys, and the reason it bugged me so much, is because social media... <sighs> It's, it's, especially the fitness industry has become so saturated and so saturated with just false, fake, just bullshit, just lies. And people are being filled constantly with these, th these, these, this fake information. If you buy this program, do this, you can do this. There's this quick fix that you can do to get these muscle gains. Like, and there's even people who are on steroids lying about their natural status, saying if you use this plan, if you do this, then you'll, do, you'll end up looking like them. There's just so much fake information out there. It just really got to me, this one thing, and I had to test it. And, and to be honest, I'm glad with the results because it's allowed me to realise the extent of this and re-emphasise to you guys or my viewers at home that you have to do your research. If you're going to be training and you're going to be wanting to achieve a specific goal, let's take an example perfect for this, the bench press, right? If someone's goal is to put maximum amount of muscle in a short amount of time on their chest and they're using a narrow grip, it's not gonna happen as optimally as a wide grip. The reason is, you're predominantly using triceps, and yes, maybe that does mean because I have a slightly narrower grip than average, than the norm, my chest will develop ever so slightly slower. So I do other things to compensate for that. I do lots of chest flies, I do lots of press ups, I do lots of incline bench as well, which is key for building that upper chest as well. Do not forget incline, do not neglect it. And what I wanted to get across to you guys is that, if 38% of people, yes there was only 50 of this sample, but 38% of people getting this wrong, and I'm sorry if you were one of those people, but I had to scroll through, and these were people who had fitness pages, these were people who were personal trainers, these were people who have been to the gym for years, and they're still saying that this is the case. It really makes you think. 
How much fake information is there out there? How long have these people been fooled for? How long have these people been told a lie? And one thing that I hope you guys can get from watching my channel at least is solidly backed up information. You know, I've got my qualifications now. I'm doing this. I, I never used to know what I was doing, but still even back then I knew that wide grip would be the better. The, oh, anyway, anyway. I suppose the moral of the story, guys, would be to not believe absolutely everything you see on social media. If you follow someone and you look up to that person, that's great, and every, I believe that everybody should have someone like that in their life. However, if that person doesn't have the credibility, if that person doesn't necessarily, I'm not saying, I'm not here saying that I'm fucking God. I'm not here saying that I'm personal trainer expert. Like, I'm not. I'm learning every single day. Together we will grow. Growth is the name of this series. I'm learning more myself every single day. But if you follow someone and, you know, this person gets a lot of hate for the things that they say or the things that they do and the reasons why, the, you know, the, their training techniques, their forms whack in their videos, you know, you've got to start thinking, maybe this isn't the person that I should be looking up to. And so, I mean, I've gone a little too deep with this, I think. But one thing that I will say is just don't believe everything you see on social media.